You're listening to the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Radio Show, hosted by Joey and Holly Baird. The Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Radio Show is on the air, and it's heard on WNLV 860 AM and W293CX 106.5 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. WWDB 860 AM in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. WAAM 1600 AM and 92.7 FM Ann Arbor, Michigan. And KMET 1490 AM Banning, California. Coming up on the program today, it's the final show of Season 3 of the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Radio Show. And we're going to go over some October chores that you need to get done in your garden before winter hits. Plus, we're going to talk about freezer meals and the easy accessibility that they offer to you. And motion, motivational speaker and author Carrie Wilt will be with us, plus your garden question. It all starts right now. Welcome to the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Radio Show. So glad you've tuned in and joined us on the program, whether you're listening in Milwaukee, Philadelphia, Southeast Michigan, around the country, around the world, via the simple radio app, the TuneIn app, the WisconsinVegetableGardener.com, underneath the radio tab. That's our website. Through podcast replay or in-studio video replay, we thank you very much for taking time out of your day in whatever format that you're capturing the program in. I am your host, Joy Baird. Beside me is my wife, co-host, best friend, and gardening partner. Holly Baird. You can find all of our content at that website, the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener dot com. And you can find Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and 1,500 garden videos of in-garden and in-radio studio content of short and long format. Uh, the uh, uh, executive sponsor of the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Radio Show is Power Planter. Planting conditions are always favorable with the Power Planter Earth Auger. No matter what the job is, Power Planter has the right size for you. Simply attach to a drill and let the Power Planter do the work for you. Create planting holes fast and efficiently with ease. No matter the soil type, it does the job effortlessly. Increase your root to soil contact. Leave the shovel and the spade in the shed. Hand welded and made in the USA, we offer lifetime warranty on product defects. Find the size that fits your project at powerplanter.com. They now have DeWalt drills on their site. Power Planter is a distributor of DeWalt drills and offers three different drills to meet whatever need the customer might have. The website also suggests what drills are recommended for what size auger. You want to get a hold of us, you can do that to the IV Organics 3-in-1 Plant Guard Communication Hotlines. IV Organics 3-in-1 Plant Guard naturally protects plants against damaging sunburn, insects and rodents, protects newly installed plants and trees, shields pruned and damaged surfaces for use on your roses, fruit and nut trees, ornamental trees and shrubs. This product is non-toxic, environmentally safe and organic. For more information, visit IV organics.com. You can send us an email through the IV Organics 3-1 Plant email inbox. That address is twvgshow at gmail.com. Or you can send us a text on the Instant Access IV Organic 3-1 Plant Guard Instant Access text hotline, and that would be 414-368-9311. And again, that phone number is 414-368-9311. Yep, anytime you want to text 414-368-9311, we will get your question answered. Uh, it is our final show of Season 3. We'll get more details uh, and news about that later on in the program, but we want to thank each and every one of you for taking time listening to the program, downloading the program, whether you've listened to one or you've listened to all three seasons. Uh, we greatly appreciate all of you. We've met some of you. Uh, obviously, we'll never meet everyone who ever listens to the program, but it does mean a lot not only here at our flagship station, Milwaukee, to uh, to broadcast the information we have available, but also to those of you who download the program all over the country as we see the data come in each week from locations in which uh, you have chose to, to pick our podcast, our replay of the program, uh, to entertain and educate you. Uh, with that being said, let's talk about some October chores or October uh, things that need to get done in the garden before winter comes. Right. So this is important, especially because um, I know here in, mid- in the Midwest, pretty soon we're going to have frozen ground, frozen what have you. And the first one that you have listed here, Joey, is to drain your irrigation lines. That's probably something you want to do like this weekend. Now, you don't um, necessarily have to pull them all up. 
here's what some people choose to do when draining their irrigation system, whether it's a soaker hose, drip irrigation, or above ground irrigation, they will pressurize, they'll put air, they'll take an air compressor and pump air into it to blow all the water out, and then they'll leave that irrigation system on the ground, and it's, it doesn't hurt the, the, the item at that point to just leave it on the ground as long as the water's out of it. If it's sealed up and there's water in it, as water freezes, water expands, and then pipes break and hoses break and irrigation um, distributors break, and the whole deal, it's a big mess. So you want to be sure to drain that in ret- in, in also draining your rain barrel. Right. So draining rain barrel is important because you want to take it off of, if it's hanging from a downspout, or not hanging, but attached, attached. to a d- downspout, you want to remove that from... Um, from the downspout and just drain it out and then put that wherever you store it, your shed or garage or basement or what have you. Uh, yes. And if you have bird baths, uh, you want to drain them. Or if they're, uh, you want the bird baths to be actively used throughout the winter months, you can there, get a heater. there are heaters. That's right. You can plug in it's a uh, heater in which it's a coil that sits in the bird bath itself, and they have different sizes for different gallon requirements or uh, liters based on your measure for the birds. Uh, if you uh, based on your measurement. Um, uh, education there. Uh, yeah, you want to purchase that, you plug it in. It's, uh, it's very, very good for the birds because even though it's winter and it's frozen in most portions of the country, birds still need to drink in some form or fashion, and that makes a, a very nice uh, addition to the backyard when it's very cold to have the birds come. And, and if, if you have a bird feeder or feeders, and then you have that bird bath that is heated for them to consume and to bathe in. Uh, and if you're into watching birds or just want to watch some nature, it's kind of nice, especially during those really dull days of winter. You can watch the birds come and feed and have a bird bath and enjoy themselves. And it's a low-cost uh, uh, thing as well. Uh, you want to save the leaves. Let's talk about another task. Do not put the leaves in the street for the city to pick up or do not burn them. Be- leaves are very beneficial to the soil life and the soil microbial life. Uh, that we can utilize. I feel to, like we say this a lot yeah, about the leaves. But, but I still see right, billions no. of pounds in the street. Well, that's the thing yeah. is that it's it's important. So maybe you've maybe you've been a dedicated listener and you've listened to us every week since um, day one. However, if we have a new listener out there, maybe they don't know about these leaves. So I think that it's important to know that these leaves are very beneficial to your soil, to your garden. They attract worms. They compost. They break down. They feed your soil. And they're a free resource. Yes. And even even if you do not garden, uh, don't put them in the in the street. What you can do is mulch them because it, there are people who want a, a, a very pl- a pretty yard. And mm-hmm. if you allow the leaves to lay on the grass, it will and can damage the grass or smother it out based on the in the amount of leaves that have fell on the on the grass. You can take in your lawnmower and mulch them. That will still break them down to a smaller portion. Let it break down and fall into the grass itself, and that will still allow insects and bugs to have a habitat in which they can survive over the winter much easier than if you just completely wipe everything clean, and then they have to find somewhere, because there are good bugs that live in your yard, oh, and, yeah, and, in your grass. Bugs, and you want to you want to enhance the good bugs, because uh, they will get rid of the bad bugs. Uh, and that's, that's the thing there, yeah. Per, uh, you want to protect your young plants uh, from... Uh, rodents eating on them. You can either wrap them with hardware cloth or you can get Ivy Organics through one plant garden, paint the trunk of or the stem in order to protect the plants from the gnawing of insects on them. Uh, that's something you want to do. Uh, and when we do the hardware cloth or the protection, if you're not going to use the Ivy Organics, you want to go about uh, a good foot around, you know, uh, take the, the center portion and then make sure your foot out just so if compression happens or debris or snow pushes in on it, it doesn't get it right up to the trunk or the stem where they can chew through and uh, damage your ornamentals or your plants. Right. Um, so then you want to do final harvest. Your final harvest, which is good. We. I mean, we haven't, we've done ours for some. Sometimes this isn't just like a one and done right. thing. If you have hardier plants like kale, um, Brussels sprouts, parsnips, parsnips carrots. carrots, the root crops, 
you can still definitely harvest those, especially in the Midwest. And but, they're better after a fall. Yeah, they are better. But you might be to the point where you're like, I just want to harvest everything and be done, and that's okay, too. Yeah. Uh, f- also, we, in that harvesting uh, mindset, we also have one less thing, uh, one more thing we need to plant, and that is garlic. Whether we plant, we're planting a hundred bulbs or five bulbs, now is the time in which we need to plant garlic, and we've covered that on the program, and you can certainly search that on your favorite search engine. Uh, planting fall garlic, we've done an in garden video of that particular method as well as we spoke about it on the program here uh, a couple of times over the uh, n- uh, seasons that we've done here. Uh, we also uh, do not want to clean up everything in our garden. We do not want to wipe the slate clean, till the soil over, and we'll see you in spring because that is not good for a lot of uh, levels here. Right. So one thing you do want to do is if you have tomato cages or whatnot, you do want to pull those out. And maybe if they need to be cleaned Do as we say, not as we do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, (laughs) And then we leave our fence up year-round, our little uh, poultry wire two-foot-tall fence. Uh, We do leave that up year-round. Some people take theirs down. We leave ours up just because at this point it's easier. And also that way if we can't get to the garden in early spring or whatever, it prevents the rabbits from, from just getting in and building a home there. So that's one thing you want to do. You also want to leave the vegetation that's going to die. It's going to break down. You can also, in the spring, cut it down, whatever. But right now... If you have diseased vegetation... Yeah, you want to pull that out. Trash that. Don't Mm -hmm. put that in the street because some of those diseases... Yeah, normal vegetation. Yeah, Yeah, you want to leave that. Um, A lot of stuff like will continue to break down over winter or early spring, and it's good for your soil, um, good for your garden. That's, yeah, that's uh, that's the thing. So you want to keep these things in mind. <clears throat> these are just some of the simple things in which um, we can do uh, to uh, things we need to do to get our garden wrapped up and uh, for the the winter. Uh, again, we want to make sure we're draining those uh, those um, rain barrels and those irrigation systems. We want to save the leaves. That's the biggest thing in which we have. Final harvest, we don't want to let those things sit. And as the frost occurs, our more tender plants are already gone uh, in the upper portions of the Midwest. And then... um, but the hardier plants are good for the frost to add a little sweetness. It actually releases sugars and makes the plants a little sweeter. So uh, that being said, uh, do not let these things go neglected. Otherwise, it will, de- it will affect what your garden will look like in the spring. Well, when we come back, it's going to be about freezer mills. Holly will explain. You're listening to the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Radio Show. <laughs> Use Twitter to reach Joey and Holly at TWVG Show or hashtag TWVG. The Handy Safety Knife is a patented high-quality knife that's worn like a ring, so it's always conveniently at hand and very easy and efficient to work with. That's why you'll find the Handy Safety Knife at work in a wide range of industries and applications. Learn more at HandySafetyKnife.com. Use coupon code WVG to get 10% off and free shipping one time use only at HandySafetyKnife.com. The number one key to healthy, productive plants are the roots. Starting from seed to full-grown plants, RootMaker.com has the answer. From seed starting trays with an innovative design that air prunes the roots, creating a fabulous root system, never again will you have root-bound plants to multiple gallon grow bag sizes to raise beds. RootMaker.com has your grow needs covered. Visit RootMaker.com. Here at Outpost Natural Foods, it's not just that we're community-owned that sets us apart. It's the fabulous foods we sell. We celebrate Earth Day every day by offering our customers the finest natural and organic food selections in greater Milwaukee. Outpost local farmers and vendors provide our stores with a delicious selection of fresh seasonal produce that you won't want to miss. Outpost stores are located in Milwaukee, Wauwatosa, Bayview, and Mequon. We're a real Milwaukee original where anyone can shop and anyone can join. For the whole scoop about Outpost, we invite you to visit www.outpost.coop. Root Assassin, a garden tool that does all the root functions with its advanced shovel that has serrated edges on both sides. Find out more information at rootassassinshovel.com. Let the earth refrigerate it. This garden tip is sponsored by BioSafe, organic solutions that are effective. They offer an array of eco-friendly products 
From plant food to fertilizer to one-of-a-kind herbicides, organic weed killer. Grow stronger, healthier with BioSafe. Visit BioSafe.net to learn more. And save 10% on your next order by using coupon code TWVG at checkout. You don't have to harvest all of your root crops at once like carrots or parsnips. Simply cover them with several feet of leaves or straw to keep them cool but not freeze. And harvest them all winter long as needed. The Norwalk Juicer is the best cold-pressed juicer on the market. Studies have shown the Norwalk Juicer produces 50 to 100% more juice than other juicers. And juice from the Norwalk is higher in minerals and nutritionally superior. Not only do you get more juice from your produce, but also better quality juice. Check it out at NorwalkJuicers.com. Use coupon code GARDENTALK to get free continental U.S. shipping on the Model 290 Juicer. When it comes to bulk landscaping materials, Blue Mills Garden and Landscape Center is where everyone goes. Whatever the project, we have the materials you need with over 40 varieties to choose from. Soils, mulches, gravels, decorative stones, fresh cut sod. Blue Mills has these products in stock and ready for easy pickup or fast delivery. So what are you waiting for? Now is the time to get your yard back into shape. Stop in and pick these materials up or call us for delivery today. Nobody does bulk landscaping materials better than Blue Mills Garden and Landscape Center. Blue Mills, 4930 West Loomis Road, 414-282-4220. The Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Radio Show is brought to you by the following. Eco Garden Systems, Row Maker, Shield and Seal, World's Coolest Rain Gauge, Big Fats Hot Sauce, Chapin International, Drip Garden, Norwalk Juicers, New New Healing Ointment, Phylum Bioproducts, Soil Savvy, Tree Ripe. Find all sponsors at the WisconsinVegetableGardener.com and thank them for their support. Now back to the Wisconsin Vegetable Garden Radio Show with your hosts, Joey and Holly Baird. Dr. Earth is committed to clean and healthy gardening through creating cutting-edge, natural, and organic garden-friendly products. Based on research and innovation, after 28 years, they are the leader in the organic lawn and garden industry. They do not use ingredients such as biosolids or composted household waste or synthetic chemicals. Instead, they have manure-free fertilizers, organic soils, insect control, and liquid fertilizer. If you want to grow the best quality food organically to feed your family, that is the founding principles of what Dr. Earth is all about. They have experts to find the most innovative ways to help you grow your best organically. Visit DrEarth.com to find out more information on where to buy. Freezer meals, Holly. Uh, Winter is a time when uh, some people like to cook, some people don't like to cook. What's what we got? What what do we need to know about proper freezer meal preparation, storage, and use? Sure. So freezer meals are a way to, especially um, if you're busy, you're working, and maybe you have children, you take them to different activities, um, or yourself, maybe you go to the gym or something. And this is not just a winter thing. No, you could do this year round, but people tend to do it more towards the winter because. Now it's getting colder out. We're being in our houses more, and uh, maybe you're not as busy on the weekends. You could freeze your meal or meal prep, like on a Sunday afternoon. Okay. What do we need to know? What are some mistakes that people make in the freezer meal preparation um, agenda here? So you want to use proper freezer bags, um, not the El Cheapo ones you got on sale. Right. Okay. So they have they should say freezer bag on them versus just like a storage bag. They're going to be made of a little bit thicker um, plastic and they're going to become more effective in keeping out the, uh, like, fr- what's it called? The frost? The, uh, burn. Yeah, the, the freezer burn. Freezer burn. Yeah. So that's one thing is you pr- use proper freezer bags. You don't have to invest in, like, a vacuum sealer or anything like that. You can just use freezer bags. That's fine. You want to also make sure you plan ahead for space in your freezer. I'm going to make this freezer meal, but my freezer is full of X, Y, Z. Well, that's not good. Uh, and then <clears throat> let's talk about that as we get into all this. But the preparation in which making the bag fit into the freezer, you can do it a couple of different ways. You can lay it completely flat, like uh, blo- uh, like sheets of paper. Okay, we'll get, we'll okay, get okay to you're going to get to that. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. Okay. Um, so sometimes maybe you want to double or triple a recipe. When you do that, you want to make sure you're not harming the integrity of the recipe. So something like meatballs, you could double, triple those easily. Something like... Um, a pasta dish, you might end up with mushy pasta. So you kind of want to keep that in mind um, is one thing. 
You also want to make sure you label and date. I pulled something out of the freezer. What is this? <laughs> I was like, is this soup? Was this stew? What was this? And it was had chunks of ice on it, so it probably wasn't going to taste. I mean, inside the bag. First Pro- in, first out also. Yeah, is first a, in, yeah, first out yeah. is definitely something. So we labeling. waste food, too. We're mm-hmm. not perfect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The mystery of what is this, and do you think, nope, we're not going to eat it type of... Uh, yeah, if, if you don't know, you shouldn't eat it. If it, yeah, that's I really don't even know what that was. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> um, you want to also think about how you're going to eat that meal. So you could do like a whole meal in a freezer bag or in a freezer meal, or you could do like a portion of meal. Like I mentioned, meatballs. Meatballs are versatile. You can do pasta with them. You can do all sorts of things with them. You can make mini meatloafs, which is kind of meatball-ish. What? And, and, and the reason why you say that is... If you have a, pick a number, a three-pound bag of whatever, it's it, you want to use that all in one setting. It's not take a little bit, freeze it, let it thaw, freeze it, let it thaw, freeze That's when you completely ruin whatever dish that you're trying to, to use. And then also, you can portion this out. So they sell freezer bags in different sizes. And if you're like, you know, I'm going to plan ahead, do this, and have this for lunch one day every week for the next three three months or whatever, you can do that it's too. It's doable. It's very doable. So there's... There's that as well. Um, and then first and first out, you want to portion out the meal. Kind of think about that um, if it's just you and a spouse versus you and a family of five. Now, when we do this, obviously you said there's certain items or dishes that are not recommended to be freezer meals. Uh, there are some that really are recommended. Is there a, a quantity in which you would say is the maximum in which you should create uh, like a five pound, uh, like you know, a, a one gallon bag versus you know what, like what's what's the uh, well, I guess guideline? Well, if you're talking about soup, you would want to think about how much soup you're making and then freezing. And this is where you would also want to portion it out. And that's why there's, um, it's good to know that there's different freezer size bags. Um, but like you had mentioned, Joy, if you're doing something like soup, maybe you want to lay it flat and freeze it. Take a cookie sheet. Put it in the bag, lay it flat, and freeze it. Or you what, a juice carton. Oh yeah, you take a cardboard juice carton and cut the top quarter off, and then you put your bag in that the, the freezer bag in that carton and put your material in there. Then freeze it and then slide that bag out. What that does is now you've created a cube that is a stackable cube that is maximizing the space in your freezer. Uh, so you, it's not just all willy nilly, as you like to say, in regards to the, the material just not stacking well and you're losing the f- space in which you are trying to utilize in your freezer. I say willy nilly. Yeah, you say willy nilly. Okay. But that is, <laughs> that is one thing to keep in mind is that whatever you're freezing, if it's liquid or mostly liquid, it's going to freeze to be whatever shape it's in. So if you're trying to be smart about using freezer meals, using your freezer, it's good to think about that and plan ahead of time. Yeah, what's going to be best? Instead of having this like random, weird shaped bag. Yeah, uh, that and again label the thing. Uh, so and use use a, re- a reliable marker because these things do uh, wipe off uh, when it comes to that. Uh, when we come back, it's going to be uh, our. Is that pretty much? Oh yeah, it, it's pretty much it, isn't it? With the freezer meal. Yeah, I mean you can just do a lot of Google searching, Pinterest, what have you. For freezer meal ideas. Well, uh, summer's over, Holly. Your yard still loves you, uh, and you've neglected your yard. I, I know you have because we've ne- ne- neglected our yard. Uh, but uh, schools in session, baseball playoff, World Series on the air. You got college football, and uh, you're forgetting about your yard, and you should not do that. Yeah, just because you're you're watching some. Uh some Bucky on the TV doesn't mean we want to forget about our yard. And we told those and those Japanese Beatles. For, for people who don't know that, that's college football in, in uh, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah. yeah. Let's not neglect the rest of the nation well, because, yeah, of your choice of sports team. Mm-hmm. Um, so they may be gone. These Japanese Beatles, Beatles may be gone, but they're not far. They laid their eggs. They're there. Um, you just don't turf. see them. Yeah, so they can start again next year. So before we get a frost or freeze or what have you, you want to go ahead and take some phylum scrub gone. And it's a non-chemical BT granule that specifically targets scare pests and their larvae. Simply attach the gran- uh, p- simply apply the granule with a spreader, irrigate it into the soil, and let the naturally occurring bacteria do its job. 
Not only is Grub Gone easy to use, but is a, the only non-chemical choice that is effective in controlling grubs. And my favorite part about the product, it is non-toxic to bees and other pollinators and the beneficial insects in your yard. In fact, Grub Gone has no label restrictions to use around flowering plants, so you don't have to remove those dandelions before the application occurs. You can find more out at phylumbioproducts.com. That's P-H-Y-L-L-O-M, bioproducts.com. When we come back, motivational speaker Carrie Wilt will be with us. Got a question? Email the show at twbgshow at gmail.com. Power Planter is a family-owned earth auger manufacturer. The Power Planter earth auger will transform your garden experience. It helps homeowners and professionals complete almost any planting or digging project faster and more efficiently than using a shovel or a spade. Power Planter earth auger creates loose dirt when drilling holes, giving your plants better root to soil contact to help reduce plant loss for healthy and more beautiful trees, shrubs, flowers, vegetables, and grass. All of our augers are hand-welded and made in the USA lifetime warranty. Find the size that fits your project at powerplanter.com. Never question your garden soil again. Know what's in your soil with confidence. Professional grade soil test for the home gardener. My Soil Savvy has the easiest soil test on the market. Ship it to them, get your report, email with nutrients recommendation, and grow happy, healthy plants. MySoilSavvy.com. Use coupon code TWVG19 and save 10% at checkout. Wisconsin Greenhouse Company has custom-made greenhouses to suit your needs. Grow fruit and vegetables all year long. Strongest greenhouses available that will last a lifetime. Beautiful design available in any size and color. Weather resistant, energy efficient to save on that heating cost. Mix and match with glazings to suit your climate. Sturdy and durable. They'll hold up to those heavy snow loads. They'll even add them to homes. For agricultural to lodging to entertaining, it's a great addition to any garden or landscape. Check them out at Wisconsin greenhousecompany.com Dharmaceuticals essential oils are high grade very pure and high in quality they have synergized blends made with the finest raw materials for more information and to order visit dharmaceuticals.com garden seeds do not have to cost a fortune just 99 cents at migardener.com now with over 450 varieties of non-gmo heirloom and organic flower vegetable and herb seeds available year round pay less and get more seeds Shipping as low as $2.50. That just makes sense. Go to migardener.com for seeds and garden needs, tools, and special blend fertilizers. migardener.com. It's that simple. Family owned and operated. Take the pain out of planting with the Pro Plugger 5 in 1 planting tool. Step, twist, pull, and you're ready to plant. Digs perfect size planting holes. Soil gets stored in the tube and empties from the top. Helpful for weeding. ProPlugger.com. Shield and seal vacuum sealers and the highest quality vacuum sealing products. Unique black and clear and all black bags protecting your produce and product better than traditional bags. Find out more at ShieldandSeal.com. The Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Radio Show is brought to you by the following. Clyde's Vegetable Planting Chart, Pharmaceutical, Dr. Earth, Flame Engineering, Handy Safety Knife, Hydro Box, Wisconsin Greenhouse Company, MI Gardener, Outpost Natural Food Co-op, Root Maker, Soil Diva, Blue Mills Landscape and Garden Center. Find all sponsors at the WisconsinVegetableGardener.com and thank them for their support. Blue Mills Landscape and Garden Center, located at 4930 West Loomis Road, just south of Layton, will be open till the snow flies and even a little bit beyond that. So if you've got some last-minute landscape and garden needs that you need to get completed before winter, you can go there and select from their 40 varieties of bulk material. Largest selection in the area, from sand, gravel, wood chips, compost, and everything in between. Again, 4930 West Loomis Road, just south of Layton, 414-282-4220 414-282-4220 and bluemails.com Now back to the Wisconsin Vegetable Garden Radio Show with your host Joey and Holly Berry. Holly, let's go to the Ivy Organics 3 one Plant Guard Hotline and bring in our guests for the week. Carrie Will is a motivational speaker, biographer, 
le- uh, lecturer, writer, vlogger, and gardener of life. She is also the great granddaughter of Frances Hodgson Burnett, a well known author. And I am a huge fan. Welcome to the program, Carrie. Thank you. Glad to be here. Well, thank you for joining us on the program, taking time out of your day, and sharing some of your wisdom with Holly, myself, and all of our listeners. Thank you. So let's just get this out of the way because um, you do sp- speak about this a lot, especially on your blog about how your Frances Hodgson Burnett's grand- great-granddaughter. Um, maybe some people are not familiar with her name but are familiar with the title of some well-known book she's written. What are some of them? Absolutely, yeah. Most of the time when you say, we actually call her FHD in our family because most people can't even get through all three names. But uh, most people would recognize her for her best uh, three known books, which are Little Lord of Fauntleroy. Um, you may remember the Rick Broder TV, uh, TV series that used to be out. Um, Little Princess, another very much well loved favorite. And of course, the big one, The Secret Guard. That is definitely um, really cool that you have that connection. Now, you have a different way of gardening, not in rows, but kind of following your own path of laying out your garden. What is that? Tell us more about it, and why do you not plant in rows? I wanted to. I I love all the order and the preciseness of rows. Um, But what I realized was that I got so focused on having everything so perfectly so that I did not leave room for the joy that happens in gardening when you have that volunteer tomato plant over in the corner or the wildflower that gets um, planted in the corner by a bird. Um, And really it sucks the fun out of it for my family as well. Uh, I became someone who was really focused on, uh, like I said, the perfection side of it, that I really um, became a not very nice person when I asked them to help me in the garden. And I decided if I I wanted joy, um, that's really what gardening should be, right? That um, I needed to really just let go of those roads. So you just kind of um, let you get you, do you, you. So you're planting kind of like nature would intend it. Is that kind of the uh, mindset now? Yeah, I mean, you know, even the Seeger Garden even says, you know, she said, you know, please don't make, let us make it tiny, uh, tidy. It wouldn't seem like a secret garden if it was tidy. I think more than anything, I let go of the perfection of having to have all the weeds pulled and things having to be um, exactly so. I mean, I used to go out to my garden with a, a ruler to figure out how far apart to set every single one of my seeds. You know, I just kind of poke random holes, and, and that's okay. They don't have to be perfected. Well, yeah, and, and we have found out whether the rows straight or crooked uh, bush beans go it, pretty good either way. It all tastes the same, absolutely. And I just think there is some wisdom to that, not just in uh, the garden, but in your life, where you're just like, hey, you know, sometimes you just have to let things go and enjoy them for the beauty that they are. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, you are a motivational speaker. What brought you into that realm or that genre? Uh, what was there a defining moment in your life that, that took you to that level? You know, um, I, I took over the speaking about my great-great-grandmother about seven or eight years ago. My mother had done it for many years before that and kind of passed the baton on to me. And when I was... Talking to my brother, actually, I'd just gotten back from a public speaking event at, um, at an opening of one of the Secret Garden musicals, which if your listeners have not, have not seen the Secret Garden musical, I highly suggest it. It's amazing. But uh, I got back, and I was talking to my brother. He said, you know, I've listened to millions of speakers um, over the years in, in, in his sales business. And he said, you know, uh, information is great, but then what do I do with it? And as I went back and I looked at the, the, the stories that I was getting to tell about Francis, there were always these amazing takeaways for how we can live life better and differently. Um, for example, one of the things I talk about often is that our current circumstances do not define our future because Francis had all the odds stacked against her. Her father died when she was three years old. She was one of five kids being raised by a single mother in the 18th, you know, in the 1800s. Um, she moved to the U.S. Um, from England at the end of the Civil War, and so it was war torn. They barely survived that first um, year. She had less than a sixth grade education, um, and then she was a, a, a woman, <laughs> which back then 
was a hard thing to be. But she didn't let those circumstances define her future. She went on to become one of the most prolific writers of the 19th century. Um, not only are those three books that she wrote, but she also wrote the other books, um, five of those bestsellers. She wrote a thousand short stories and 50 plays. On top of breaking gender barriers, and um, she was the highest paid author of the 1920s, and uh, she did, you know, all sorts of amazing things. So, you know, it says, uh, actually in the little, uh, little spot, right, it says it's astonishing how short a time it takes for very wonderful things to happen. And so I just had to encourage my audience, just hold on, change is coming. <laughs> today, it, today does not define us. No, it, it doesn't. And uh, what we uh, sitting there and pouting and saying, oh, woe is me, doesn't fix the problem. You have to make things happen in order for change to occur. Absolutely. I mean, it's applicable in the garden and in life. You can, you know, <laughs> you got something to eat in your plants, you got to do something about it or, you know, nothing's going to help. I think I think you've inspired Jody to become a, a motivational speaker now. Uh, oh yeah, go Jody. <laughs> um, your Instagram is full of life lessons. What is yes. your favorite life lesson that you have experienced recently and would like to share with us? Oh goodness, one of my favorites. I, I think one of the biggest ones is that just that reminder that you never know who is listening. Uh, here recently, I actually started those uh, vlogs. I didn't even know that word when I started. I, I thought I was just making these videos. I didn't know. Anyway, um, <laughs> so, uh, and I thought for, you know, I, I thought I knew who would be listening to me. And it turned out that my 13-year-old daughter's kids were listening. And I think about even Frances's life. She had no idea the people that her words were going to affect. She didn't know who was going to be listening. She didn't know that we would get, we would find years later a handwritten letter from Helen Keller asking her to write Little Lord Fauntleroy in Braille so that other blind children can read it. She didn't know that Alec, Alexander Graham Bell would be sitting on a train reading one of her books and write a letter to her, to his wife, about how great a writer she was. So, like, we just never know who's listening. And so we got to be careful and guard our words and, you know, make sure our words are being used for good. Well, and that's true, and, and that falls in line with this program. We are amazed at the people that come up to us from and, and emails and, and Facebook messages from all over the country. Hey, I listened to your program. Hey, thanks from from Miami, Florida to Portland, Oregon to to uh, Maine and everywhere in between. We get these messages of our little radio show, and they're listening to it through podcast replay or or live via the the apps that we're on. And the crazy thing I think to do with that is that. You're sitting in a room all by yourself. Well, I mean, clearly you've got Holly, but, <laughs> you know, you, sometimes you forget that there are people out, out there listening, and uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, it really is. It is absolutely uh, phenomenal and uh, rewarding in, in a very unique way. Yeah. Now, you say the best advice uh, comes from a blooming flower. What does that mean, and what is the advice, and how did you come up with this uh, <laughs> the saying? Well... You know, I think so many times uh, there's a lot of people giving us input in our lives, right? Uh, somebody's always giving their opinion, uh, whether that it's warranted or not. And one of the things that I realized is that the people who gave the best advice were the people who had um, been buried before. They were, they've been cracked open. They've pushed past the dirt and hurt. They've learned how to weed and feed themselves. Um, you know, they figured out the good things they need to do in order to grow. And so so I really look to the people around me who have bloomed before and have done it over and over again. And so I don't know that there's one piece of advice, but I think the advice really is to look to those people who are are blooming and growing around you and 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 seek out their advice. Um, don't don't go to the one whose garden and life is withering and um, not well watered. <laughs> go to the one who's figured it out a little bit better than the, than the rest. And, and the best thing, and, and the worst thing that can happen is I don't want to talk to you. And the best thing that can happen too is they sit down and share you share with you the secrets in which got them to where they're at. Absolutely, and I think most people are willing to share. You just have to ask the question. Yeah, people, I think people don't understand the value that their life experiences. Um, 
will have when they when they share it with someone else. Yeah, and to to have somebody come up to you and say, "Hey, I've noticed this X Y Z about you. What is your secret? What have you done to get there?" That is something the receiver is okay. I didn't know somebody was watching me that close. I will share with this person, and and it really is a uh, an uplifting, emotional, uh, positive effect on both people. And also true in gardening. I mean, you know, gardeners. You ask a question and they'll talk for day. <laughs> right. And they'll they'll be willing to help you with any any advice for sure. Yeah, oh definitely. <laughs> for sure. I've coworkers that come up to me or people that work for my company and say, I'm sure you're sick of talking about gardening, but I just have this question. I'm like Oh, no, I'm never and you get people that yeah. st- stare at you strangely at the <laughs> grocery store, and, t- and then they come up to you and go, I know you. And then you're like, okay, who are you? And then once they explain, then the creepiness goes away. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> there's, yeah, there's that too. Well, um, Carrie, can you tell us more about how to find you and um, y- your information and your website and all sure. that stuff? Yeah, you can find me on all the social media ta- uh, channels at FHBNP. So, like, Francis Hodgson Burnett, FHB, and me, dot com, or uh, FHB and me on uh, Instagram. Instagram's probably where I hang out the most, for sure. Um, and uh, But I also have a, a YouTube channel as well, which is FHB and me as well. Well, Carrie, we greatly appreciate the positive uh, in, in interaction that we've had with you on the program today. And thank you for taking time out of your day and sharing your knowledge with Holly, myself, and all of our listeners. Hey, thanks for inviting me. And uh, everybody else, blessings and blooms on your on your uh, winter gardening. Do you guys get to do winter gardening where you are? Uh, we do inside gardening. We don't do a whole lot of outdoor gardening. Oh, uh, we're, we're lucky here in Texas. We do get, well, we get four seasons, but we typically get them all in one day. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much, awesome. Carrie. Thank you, guys. And when we come back, it's our final segment of Season 3. We're going to thank some people. We'll be right back. You're listening to the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Radio Show. If you have a gardening question, now is the time to call in on the IVOrganics.com 3-in-1 Plant Guard Hotline at 414-444-5250. Do you have a problem with deer or small herbivores eating your vegetation? There is a natural solution that is safe for your pets and family. Bobex is the answer. An environmentally friendly solution to protect your plants will not wash off and is guaranteed. Bobex deer was independently tested against nine known competitors and rated 93% effective, second only to a physical barrier. Bobex can be used on all types of ornamentals, trees, and shrubs. Ask for it by name at your local independent garden center. Find out more? Visit Bobex.com. B-O-B-B. E-E-X.com. Spending time scrubbing pesky dirt off your hands after gardening? Use Workman's Friends Superior Skin Cream with added barrier protection, creating a protective layer on your skin surface, allowing for easy cleanup, all while moisturizing and healing your skin. Non-greasy, fragrant-free, and fast-absorbing. Apply first, get to work, wipe clean. This friend has you covered for whatever you're getting into. Visit WorkmansFriendBrand.com. Beans and Barley Marketing Cafe, a neighborhood specialty grocery store for the East Side of Greater Mobile. Milwaukee area where you can find all you need from fresh produce to bakery to organic frozen dinners from wine to fresh with carrot juice a health food store with hundreds of products vitamin supplements bath and body items magazines cars books and a knowledgeable staff catering a bill open daily at 8 a.m. the restaurant serves breakfast lunch and dinner seven days a week with a menu of good healthy homemade food including vegetarian and non-vegetarian specialties 1901 East North Avenue Milwaukee 414-278-7878 and online at beansandbarley.com Pomona's Universal Pectin is high-quality pectin that gels reliably with low amounts of any sweetener. If you're trying to reduce the amount of sugar in your diet, you'll love Pomona's Universal Pectin. Now you can make healthy homemade jams and jellies sweetened to your taste. You can use sugar, honey, or any alternative sweetener you'd like. Pomona's Universal Pectin keeps indefinitely when stored in an airtight container. Easy to use, versatile, and comes with directions and recipes in every box. Find out more and where to buy at PomonaPectin.com. Available at most natural food stores and online. 
Do you seek safe, effective nutrition solutions to boost your health and quality of life? Standard Process is your trusted whole food supplement manufacturer with 90 years of expertise. Our third generation family owned company proudly grows nutrient rich ingredients at our certified organic farm in Palmyra, Wisconsin, enabling us to produce high quality whole food solutions that change lives. For help identifying the best supplements for you, find a local healthcare professional today at standardprocess.com forward slash patients. Flame Engineering, home of the Weed Dragon, the perfect propane torch kit for home and garden use. For killing weeds, no need to pull or spray. 100 other uses, find out more at flameengineering.com. Use coupon code WVG19 to get free shipping. Blue Mel's Garden and Landscape Center offers an awesome selection of high-quality garden and landscape products. We have just the plants you're looking for. Annuals, perennials, veggies, herbs, and more. Plus, you can always count on us to answer all of your questions and offer expert advice. Blue Mel's also carries the largest selection of bulk landscape materials in the area. Enjoy a beverage from our coffee shop while your kids run around in our huge playground. Join our growing list of highly satisfied customers. Visit the garden center that offers everything you're looking for. Visit Blue Mel's today. Blue Mills, 4930 West Loomis Road, 414-282-4220. The Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Radio Show is brought to you by the following. Ivy Organics, Power Planter, Root Assassin, Beans and Barley, BioSafe, Bob X, Pomona Universal Pectin, Pro Plugger, Standard Process, Tomato Snaps. Find all sponsors at thewisconsinvegetablegardener.com and thank them for their support. the Wisconsin Vegetable Garden Radio Show with your hosts, Joey and Holly Baird. Welcome back. It is our final segment of our final show of Season 3. We do this each year. We go through and we thank many people who have allowed us to do what we have done and accomplished. Uh, Holly, you've got some people that you want to and then uh, talk to, thank, and then I've got some, some people I want to thank, and then we'll talk about what's coming up for 2020 Season 4. Right. So uh, one person I want to thank is my friend Laura. She does all of the voiceovers that you hear and maybe don't pay attention to <laughs> <laughs> every week. Um, and she's she's an amazing friend and a person, and I appreciate her hard work. I'm going to play this um, over for her later because I know she's not listening right now. And, um, yeah. So she, she finds it weird to hear her voice. She does it. find it weird, yes, to yeah. hear her voice, but she still does it. Yeah, so. it's good, right. obviously good at what she does because uh, we use her each year as we change things up. Uh, other things... Uh, Excuse me? Yeah, this it, is we, my time. Yeah, I know. Go okay. ahead. <laughs> um, I want to thank my family. They are amazing people as well, even if it's just um, making us laugh or being supportive or what have you, sending us text messages during the program saying, hey, uh, this is not, this is not, I can't hear you, or sending me a funny meme or whatever. Um, That's always great. I mean, people think you just walk in the studio and you talk for an hour and everything's wonderful. There's hours and years of preparation to do this. Okay. Would you just chill? Yeah. I also want to thank you, Joey. Oh, You always say, yeah. Oh, now I get to talk. You always say I'm your best friend, co-host, gardening partner, whatever you say and you're also my best friend yeah. co-host and gardening partner and you are an incredibly hard worker yourself and i really appreciate all the work that you put into making this happen you do all the the good guest stuff and um also you know like you mentioned we have some behind the scenes stuff yeah. and i could imagine even though we've had issues there's been positive stuff too but issues and who else could i roll my eyes to but you. Right. Uh, our sound engineer has uh, something. I never, I never talk in this show. No. But certainly if folks could just see the off-air part of what goes on behind the scenes and uh, some great funny, funny times with the sailboat. How did that go? She was Sailboat a, trailer expert. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I just, just had to chime in there. That's Certainly going to miss you guys. I mean, it's it's your final show. Uh, I think I've been with you the bulk of this. Yeah this whole entire yeah, you've time. You've been with about 100 shows of the 105 that we've yeah, had somewhere yeah, in that so, range. Yeah, so, I mean, it's, it's the, 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 the team's breaking up. All right. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, and, and when he means that, uh, we are uh, switching stations uh, next year, and I'll, I'll get to that in a moment and explain the reasons why. Uh, but each year, uh, we take t- time out of this uh, on this portion to talk about uh, how things have gone, and we have to thank WNOV as the flagship station 
Uh, they've been with us from the very beginning. And uh, they gave us our, our they, they gave us our start. Yeah, mm-hmm. the, when no, we, we met with other stations in the city of Milwaukee, and they all gave us excuses of why they wouldn't carry our show and, and why our show wouldn't be good to have on the air. And uh, we talked to WNOV, Homer, and Miss Robinson. Those are the major players here at, at the station. And they accepted and was very excited to have us uh, on the program, on, on have our program on the air. And we have to also thank WAAM Radio, WAM 1600 and 98 point, 90, WAM 1600 AM and 92.7 FM, uh, broadcasting our show throughout Southeast Michigan. Uh, we'll be back with them uh, next year, WWDB 860 AM in Philadelphia. Uh, we appreciate them having our show this year and KMET 1490 out of Banning, California. Uh, this is the first year uh, for multiple stations across the country, and next year uh, we are making very, very large changes. Uh, we will be on uh, nine, Mar- it will be in nine cities on 13 stations uh, throughout the country, uh, March through October. A very big change for us, a very big step in that way. Um, uh, I will list off the stations in a few moments so people who are in those areas uh, may actually be able to hear us on their radio station and not ca- have to rely on catching us on podcast replay. Uh, with that being said, Milwaukee, we, uh, we talked about we're going to be switching stations uh, from WNOV, 860 AM. Uh, not because of anything they've done, but it's a decision that Holly and I have made. It's just a business decision. Business mm-hmm. decision. Uh, they will ever. Uh, we will always be grateful to WNOV for giving us the start. Uh, we'll be moving to Joy 1340 and 98.7 on Saturday morning, 7 to 8 a.m. Uh, March through October, the podcast, the in-studio video will be the same uh, as it has always been, uh, but we will always be gra- uh, greatly appreciative of WNOV because without them, uh, we would not have got our start uh, in that. Now, what I'm about to say, if you're not a God person or a spiritual person, none of this is going to make any sense to you whatsoever. Uh, we went into this in 2016 working towards the goal of having a radio show. We had talked to people in the industry, and they had, and we'd always wanted to have a TV garden sh- show in the Milwaukee area. And we talked to people, and they said, you know, that's great. Everybody wants to be on TV, but your focus needs to be on radio uh, where you can have the most success, the biggest impact, to share the knowledge in which you're trying to teach people. So we reached out to the Milwaukee stations, and WNLV graciously accepted our uh, our uh, invitation or our request and uh, said, "Bring the, if you bring the money, you can have the airtime. And for people who may not be aware of this, we pay for the airtime on all the markets and all the stations across the country. That's what the sponsors do in order to allow us to have that uh, privilege to be on the air. Um, and that some people are not aware of that, and, and that's just not common knowledge that uh, is out there. And for 2020 in the nine markets, 13 stations, uh, we will... Uh, pay for that airtime. We spend hundreds of hours each year emailing and calling upon thousands of companies local to our Milwaukee area and each station's local area and national in order to pay for the airtime because we uh, we cannot do this ourselves without the financial help of our sponsors and we appreciate you supporting them. And uh, we do this uh, from a spiritual standpoint um, and we rely on faith and the biblical preaching of faith is faith is, the, faith is the substance of the things hoped for, but the evidence of things not yet seen. Uh, we have faith that we will have a show in 2020, even though we're not yet funded for that show uh, or the airtime. Uh, but we have uh, the faith to believe that we will be granted that. We've been granted by God for three years in order to have the airtime. And people who are not even spiritual... There is a certain amount of faith that they have as well, that they have faith that the car coming down the road towards them is not going to run into them. Uh, So no matter who you are, there's faith there, whether you believe it or not. Uh, We rely solely on faith for the sponsors in order order to... Uh, we rely solely on faith to find the sponsors, to lead us to the sponsors, for the fo- sponsors to lead us, to be led to us, and in order to have a relationship with them and agree upon a sponsorship deal and uh, be on the air uh, for the coming uh, year. We are, it's an extremely difficult task in order to uh, fund a program like this, but over the three years uh, we have been able to do that. Uh, the biblical preaching also is you have not because you ask not, and if the Father finds favor, he will grant you uh, with that request, and, and we rely solely on that. That is our guiding light to this program and allowing us to be funded for the years to come uh, and to share our garden knowledge, uh, not only to you, but other 
individuals throughout the uh, country. Uh, it's like that um, the story that has been told from many, many years ago of a little community, farm community sat down south. They were very, very dry, hadn't had rain for many weeks. And the community came together and said, we have to have a prayer meeting to pray for rain. So the townsmen, towns people came into the church praying, going to go pray for rain on a Tuesday evening, all carrying a Bible in hand like you're supposed to when you go into church, except for... Uh, one little girl, she had a Bible in one hand, but she had an umbrella in the other. She was ready to receive the gift in which they were asking for. And that's with anything in life. If you ask for something, you have to have the uh, platform in order to receive it. If you have, uh, if, if you want to find somebody, you have to make an opening for that person to come into your life. If you want a new car, you have to have an opening to get for that new car to set in the driveway, something of, uh, of that. So keep that in mind. Uh, in a moment, I'll talk to you about uh, the stations we will be on. But it is forever, uh, we will forever be grateful to this station uh, here in Milwaukee, WNOV 860 AM and FM 90, uh, FM 106.5 FM, uh, for what they have done, the platform which they've granted, and you, the listening audience, for giving us the opportunity to come into your world each and every week to share our gardening knowledge with you. Now... To list the stations we will be on next year, this may be boring to some of you. Others, you may listen and go, I, that station, I, I listen to that station. That's good because we have concentrated and looked at the download numbers we have gotten and we're hitting those high markets where you guys are downloading the show from and we're actually physically going to be on the radio. Now, we also will be on the podcast replay and in-studio video replay, so don't feel bad if you're in an area which our program is not going to be heard on terrestrial radio. You'll still be able to get it on uh, the podcast replay and in-studio video replay from your podcast for, po- providing website and our website, the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener dot com. As we indicated, we'll be on Joy thirteen forty and ninety eight point seven FM here in Milwaukee Saturday morning seven to eight AM Central Standard Time. Returning back to Wham Radio, 1600 AM and 98.7 FM, WAAM there out of Ann Arbor, Michigan, Sunday morning, 7 to 8 AM Eastern Standard Time. And returning to Banning, California on KMET, 1490 AM, Tuesday mornings, 9 to 10 AM Pacific Standard Time. Everywhere we will be next year will be March through October, excluding Banning, which will be April through October. Just the way it worked out because of their growing zone. New markets we will be in is Elgin, Illinois, and WRMN, 1410 AM, Sunday afternoons, 12 to 1 PM, Central Standard Time, and Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, on WOGO, 680 AM, and FM, 103.1, Sunday mornings, 9 to 10 AM, Central Standard Time, and we'll be over in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Big concentration of listeners over there. How are you doing? We'll be on Health Talk Radio, KD. IZ, 1570 AM, Saturday uh, afternoons, 3 to 4 PM Central Standard Time. And if you miss the program there, catch it on Sunday afternoons. We'll be on from 4 to 5 PM Central Standard Time with a replay of Saturday's show. Over in Boston, WCRN, 830 AM, Saturday mornings, 10 to 11 AM Eastern Standard Time. And Delta, Utah, KYAH 540 AM. That broadcast all the way up through Salt Lake City. Saturdays from 1 to 2 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And the replay, Sunday evenings, uh, 10, 9 to 10 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And finally, St. Joseph, Missouri. That broadcast uh, through the Kansas City area and uh, quite a bit of the Missouri area. We'll be on KFEQ 680 AM and FM 107.9 Sunday mornings 10 to 11 AM. The Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener will be broadcast and be heard in some part of 17 different states in the Union. Now all of these stations will be listed later on in the year on our website and on our social media platforms and they all can be available on the TuneIn app, the TuneIn app and the simple radio app. So You uh, may not be close enough to hear it, but it's available there. So we will see you next year 
for Season 4 of the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Radio Show. Holly, before we get out of here for the year, let the audience know one more time about our executive sponsor of the program. The executive sponsor of the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Radio Show is Power Planter. Planting conditions are always favorable with the Power Planter Earth Auger. No matter what the job is, Power Planter has the right size for you. Simply attach to a drill and let the Power Planter do the work for you. Create planting holes fast and efficiently with ease. No matter the soil type, it does the job effortlessly. Increase your root to soil contact. Leave the shovel and spade in the shed. Hand welded and made in the USA, we offer a lifetime warranty on product defects. Find the size that fits your project at powerplanter.com. Well, that will do it for us for the year. You can always check out all past shows, this one and all past 105 shows that we've done. Just go to your favorite search engine or podcast platform and search the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener podcast, and you can find everything that we've ever done. And you can always keep up to date with more information at our website, thewisconsinvegetablegardener.com. And you can always email us your questions at twvgshow at gmail.com. Until next year. For Holly Baird, I'm Joy Baird, and we will see you next year. You have been listening to the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Radio Show. The Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Radio Show is a production of the WisconsinVegetableGardener.com in association with WI Garden Media Broadcast, live from the WNOV 860 AM and the W293CX 106.5 FM, Courier Communications Studios in Milwaukee, Wisconsin.